Barak the Yahweh, Barakatha, Yehosha, Barak the Yahweh, Barakatha, Yehosha, Ba, Hashem, Rakagwadash, the honors to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and sincerity. Lesson will be entitled A Seed in Many Waters. Lord Will, you are edified. Video was inspired by a comment from the shade room or a posting and it reads they said bro's bloodline went as you can see drake's family this is three generations his father looks like a so-called black man and according to biblical doctrine a Judite or a so called Negro this is Drake and look at his son when the spirit hit John the Revelator he saw Israelites looking like this okay and so-called Chinese so-called Japanese so-called East Indians looking like the various nations however they are Israelites and how do we know they stood before the throne and before the lamb clothed with white robes and palms in their hands and cry with a loud voice saying salvation to our power Matthew 1 and 21 for Yahweh Shai shall save his people right which sits on the throne and unto the lamb Deuteronomy 28 and 15, but it shall come to pass if you will not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh, your power to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command you this day that all these curses shall come on you and overtake you. Let's jump to 25. The Lord Yahweh shall cause you to be smitten before your enemies. You shall go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them and shall be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. Okay. Hence, slavery due to the curses. And therefore, we have the concept of the Israelite foreigner, Jeremiah chapter 12 and verse 9 my heritage okay or chosen people israelites is unto me as a speckled bird a bird having various colors meaning what looking like these various nations hence the great multitude the birds meaning these other nations round about are against her Come you, assemble all the beasts of the field, come to devour. Key point, the birds around about are against her. Going into what? Psalm 83. And verse 2. For lo, your enemies make a tumult, and they that hate you have lifted up the head. Verse 3. Still in Psalm 83 and 3, they have taken crafty counsel against your people, Israelites, and consulted against your hidden ones, Israelites. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Isaiah 11 and 11. 
And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, that great multitude, which shall be loved from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the seas. Okay. So Israelites looking like so-called Hawaiians or Polynesians people. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Right. Hence the concept of the Israelite foreigner. Right. Numbers 24 and verse 5. How goodly are your tents, O Jacob, and your tabernacles, O Israel, as the valleys are they spread forth as gardens by the river's side, as the trees of line alloys, which Yahweh has planted, and as cedar trees beside the waters. Verse 7, he shall pour the water out of his buckets, and his seed, Israelite seeds, shall be in many waters. Hence the concept of the Israelite foreigner. And his king shall be higher than Agag, and his kingdom shall be exalted. Okay. Revelation 5 and 5. Let's jump to 9. And a song, a new song, because Yahweh was able to do what? Bring the Holy Spirit to the elect, in a nutshell. Because he defeated sin within the flesh. Revelation 5 and 9, and they sung a new song, this truth, saying, you are worthy to take the book, the scriptures, and to open the seals thereof, release understanding via the Holy Spirit, for you were slain based on the crucifixion and has redeemed us Israelites, to the Most High, Israelites, by your blood, out of every kindred, Israelites and tongue, Israelites and people, Israelites and nation, Israelites, and have made us unto our power kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. Well, will you edify Shalom?